Hi everybody, this is Bob. I've been uh, using the SA2060A uh, antenna tuner here for the last several days. A uh, couple days anyways. It hasn't been several days, has it? I don't know. Anyhow, I got it all finished and back together in, in the operating area here. And uh, I discovered a uh, little bit of a problem here, at least for me. Uh, this is the knob that you used that came with the uh, SA2060A for the uh, roller inductor. And uh, you know that roller inductor has to go 377 turns, or is it 277? Doesn't matter, it's a whole lot of turns from one end to the other. And if you're on 160 meters, and then you want to go to 10 meters, oh man, you just turn and turn and turn and turn and turn. And there's a little bit of resistance to it too. So I came up with this solution. I just thought I would show you. This is an old surplus knob. It had a little white arrow in it here. But it's got real thick Bakelite. And uh, this is a piece of... Uh, of, uh, what is it, 9 16 wide uh, Lexan plastic or polycarbonate plastic. You don't want to use acrylic or plexiglass, it will break. Uh, this is 1 8 of an inch thick acrylic. Aha, it's not acrylic, polycarbonate, polycarbonate, Lexan. Very strong. It's supposed to be 80 times stronger than, than acrylic or plexiglass. Anyhow, it's two and five eighths inches long. You can see that. And uh, I have it listed here as one sixteenth inch thick. That's what I tried first, but then I went to one eighth inch thick polycarbonate Lexan. I cut that with my 12 inch tin snips, believe it or not. I heated it for just a, oh, what, 20 or 30 seconds with the uh, heat gun. Uh, I don't know if that helped a whole lot, but I was able to cut it out just fine and then sanded the edge along here to make it uh, nice and smooth because when you get done cutting it that way, it has kind of a rough edge. So anyhow, and this is just a uh, uh, 3 8 inch uh, steel bushing. It was uh, threaded for a uh, 832 uh, screw and uh, it's 3 quarters of an inch long. And uh, so there's a, uh, right in here, I got a nut here and a lock washer and then another nut here. And that's what holds it on. And you tighten that up so this is just loose here. Anyhow, this thing works so good. I, uh, I, I just had to get on and make this quick little video and show you because I was really getting tired of, of cranking that knob. Cranking that knob, cranking that knob, cranking that knob, cranking that knob to go from one band to another. So look at this. So I had to show you. And if I had a, I had a knob too already that had, it was a crank knob, but the crank part was back over here. And there's a little bit of resistance there. I wanted a longer arm here so that it would not be so hard to turn. And there's plenty of clearance in here on the HSA 2060A tuner, so you don't have to worry about this hitting anything. But isn't that slick? So I just wanted to show you. It took me about an hour to figure this out and, and make it and find a knob. I found this knob in the junk box with some old knobs. I mean, it's a real old knob. It was really dirty. So anyhow, I wanted to show you that. Another thing I wanted to bring up too is this coax connector that you saw laying there when uh, when I started the video. And uh, this this is one of those uh, clamp-on coax connectors. I did make a video on the clamp-on coax connectors on YouTube uh, showing how much I like them and I really do. But uh, I found out that when I used this on the SA 2060A Heathkit antenna tuner uh, that the the shell here bottomed out on the chassis on the back and the back part here boy this camera really really gets in close doesn't it 
uh, the back part here remain loose like that. And I thought, wait a minute now, that's that's no good. You got a loose connection here. So uh, what I did, or what I'm doing, is uh, making up very a couple of very short coax jumpers like that. This is RG8, and uh, I, I already started. This is half done. I'm going to put two of this type connector on, which are the Amphenol type connectors. And these fit on the back of the SA2060A just fine. Uh, the problem is that the coax connectors on the back of this antenna tuner are not as long as the old type uh, connector SO239 with the four little bolts in it. Uh, these are the type that fasten on with a single nut. They're not as long and so that shield does not get a good connection. It's, it's moving around. <laughs> so anyways, I wanted to show you that. And I'm going to cure that by making uh, little, little short jumpers like this and putting a barrel connector on there. Which is right here. Here's, here's the barrel. Putting the barrel connector on there so that I can screw these things right on to the SA2060A. I am very very pleased with the way this antenna tuner is working. Uh, the SWR meters work fine. The watt meter reads right along with my MFJ SWR digital watt meter here. And this is one of the nicest little pieces of equipment that I have had. It is super. You can put 5 watts in, it'll read 5 watts. It will show you the frequency that you're on and it'll show you how much is reflected and how much is forward. Bing, like that. And then you can switch over to a kilowatt linear and it'll show you that, no problem. Uh, it's just automatic. So uh, anyhow, that's one of the greatest things, I think, since sliced bread. Uh, so I really like that. So I've got that using it in conjunction with the SA2060A. But boy, I sure like this little knob that I made and it worked out just beautifully. So with that I just wanted to show you this quick little thing uh, that uh, I think has just made this so much nicer to use and of course you can always put the knob back on. I think what I'm going to do is is uh, on, the, on the back uh, or inside, take the case off, put this in a little plastic bag, tape it up so that it doesn't get dirt in it and uh, stash it somewhere inside so that uh, if I want to change it back over or, or if somebody else buys it or whatever, they can change it over if they want to. That's it, everybody. And it's raining here. It's been raining all day long. And so it's a good day to go do things in the ham shack. So 73s, everybody. This is Bob, N8RS, out.